G'day folks, this is a friend of mine, Robert. He's just popped back to get another bark collar for his dog. So, Robert, tell us about the reason why you first came here to get a bark collar. Okay, we uh, moved house, yep. and of the two dogs, the one that had preceded to be the uh, leader, if you like, and the one that barked a lot, swapped the role with the other dog. Um, she's a big dog, has a hefty bark, and we thought, rather than disturb the neighbours, uh, having just moved to the area, we have to look at alternative methods of trying to stop her barking quite so much. Didn't want to stop her completely, um, but we did certainly want to reduce the amount of barking that she was doing. Right. Um, and I noticed that you guys were here, so came and had a chat with yourself, and you came up with what I thought was an ideal solution. Sure. One that isn't going to you know, stop her barking completely, um, but we're certainly going to reduce the amount and uh, hopefully get her to learn a lesson from it so that she just continues to reduce. So you didn't have any complaints from the neighbours or the rangers Not at, at that point? that stage, no. no. We uh, we found that she was barking quite a lot, obviously, it had unnerved her with the move and a lot of new surroundings and everything else that was going on, new noises and sounds. Um, and she responded to it quite badly with the move. Right. But rather than wait to a point where we were asked to do something or told to do something, we thought it would just be a smarter move to do something, in, in nip it in the bud, get it dealt with. And uh, it certainly did that within just a couple of days over the long weekend, so cool. exceedingly pleased. Good. Um, it was a few weeks ago now that, that Robert popped in, but he hit the nail on right on the top of the head there. We don't want to stop the dog barking, but we don't want to have the neighbours complaining about the barking. The dog needs to be able to bark when it's, when it's necessary. And Robert has preemptive said, well, I wouldn't like it if I was the neighbour, so I've gone out and do it. Very hard for a neighbour to come to someone's door knock on the door and say, can you stop your dog barking? It's like, can you can you put your music down at night time because I'm trying to sleep? It's kind of that sort of situation. So we do, uh, you know, um, get that quite a bit. And don't be offended if someone puts an anonymous note in your letterbox because the last thing you want is the shy ranger knocking on the door and all the neighbours going, oh, that guy's in trouble for something because the ranger's knocking on his door. So um, what we actually went for in Robert's situation, because the, the style of the dog and the size, was a bark collar that he could count the barks on the thing. Did you use that function much? Yeah, I did, uh, especially within the first day, um, just to see how she had responded to it and whether or not it had worked. Sure. Um, it, it certainly did work and it certainly reduced the barks. And I think the count on there was about six or seven. So what, what we looked at was yeah. putting, putting the bark collar, the first one you got, on the lead dog that was barking first to try and reduce that barking and then hopefully the other one wouldn't take over or would follow suit. Stop the lead dog barking, the other one may not bark. And we don't want to do that at too high levels. So we went for the collar that will do the bark count for us and you can monitor it. So I instructed Robert to put the collar on the dog's neck. I'll put it on my deck while I talk. Neck, sorry. Um, and you might be able to see the light come on. There you go. It came on and it gave me a little bit of a ping. Now, as I instructed Robert, put it on the dog for a day or so like that, get him to bark <coughs> as much as possible. <coughs> yep, there we go. And then you can check the count. After you know what the count is, we can simply push a few buttons and it will go flash, flash, flash. You know you've got it fitted correctly. Then what number, from number one, what number did you go to then? I ended up at um, number three. Number three, uh, straight away? No, I, I started on number one, but it didn't slow it down quite as much as I'd anticipated. It wouldn't. It, it's really just a, a gentle tickle that I yeah. find you can use to, <coughs> there we go, use to um, find out uh, that it's fitted correctly. Yep. yep. So then I went to number three, and very quick after that, it, she was quiet. Very quiet cool. down quite a lot. Okay, now, interestingly, thing happened. What happened after you solved dog number one from barking? Yeah, after dog number one, who wasn't initially the lead dog, um, it reverted back to the original dog who'd done most of the barking to carry on the trend. So Robert moved house and uh, the lead dog went like this and then the other dog yeah. started barking, put the bark colour on that one, this one stopped barking, so this one said, oh well, you're not going to bark, I better bark. Yeah. So now he's come back to get another bark collar. But look, it's a journey, it, it, there's no one solution. If you give us a call though, we can narrow down exactly what you might need to get it right first time. There's a lot of stuff out there that's doing damage to dogs, they're going off accidentally, the dogs are becoming a nervous wreck, so it's not that great. So let's just quickly do the bark count on this. So, happy with the results? Very. Yep. All right, watch this, folks. We go down, stops there, and we count, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, there we go. A couple of tests over there, and three or four barks, that's on Colin, uh, and worked a treat.
All right, no problem. Well, look, thanks very much for your time. Appreciate your popping in. Great to get them to stop making the noises and stop annoying the neighbours. Yeah, that's it. Potentially, you don't want to be that person in the neighbourhood with the barking dog. No. If you are in the neighbourhood and you have someone who owns barking dogs, you don't want to approach them or you have and it hasn't worked, give us a call because we have things that will help you aim over the fence to deter the barking. So until next time, thanks very much, folks. Thanks again. Thanks, thanks very much. All right, bye.